Patrick in DeKalb, Illinois, or DeKalb. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to call it DeKalb. Paul, thanks to your YouTube videos, I have recaptured my joy for stereo music after many years. You know, Patrick, when I read stuff like that, it makes all this worthwhile. I mean, I'm down here on a Saturday <laughs> doing this because I love doing it and I like communicating and reaching out, teaching as best I can. But when I read stuff like that, that I've rekindled a fire in somebody, that <laughs> makes me tear up a little bit and makes me feel really good. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, I keep seeing videos where you are talking, <laughs> so stop talking, where you're talking about Octave Records, which is very cool and exciting. Yes, it is. Now, currently, I stream all of my audio using Cobuzz. I do, too. And love the quality. Me, too. Will any of the Octave Record recordings be available through Cobuzz or a similar streaming app? Well, there's a lot of debate about that. And I don't have a good answer. I mean, the, the quick answer is no. No, I don't think we're going to do that. But we should. So it's, it's, there's really a balance here. And, and maybe what we wind up doing is having one or two tracks as opposed to albums. The problem is, while it sure is fun and it sure is convenient, we do this for two reasons. Number one, we, Octave Records is here to promote and support the idea of great recordings. Today, there are so few great recordings. And I want people to know when they buy an Octave recording, they are getting one of the best recordings in the world. It's recorded in DSD. It's the best recording system. And it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> we deal with it all the time. But we deal with that because it's the best. It, it's just, it's the only way to capture the greatest sound possible. If there's another way comes along, we'll, we'll be there. But Octave Records is based on promoting and supporting the art, the true art of recording so that that doesn't get lost and people don't start thinking that this crap that comes out as, as just compressed and, you know, oh God, it just, look, we're audiophiles. Got to have something to listen to, right? Quality that we can count on. That's what Octave Records is all about. Number two, Octave Records is all about the artist. Because, yes, we're out to make great recordings. But also, we recognize that today it is so difficult to make a living as a musician. It's really hard. COVID hit. You can't perform. Streaming services hit. You can't make any money. Streaming services, I, I, I've told the story before. My buddy, uh, Dan Schwartz, bass player for Sheryl Crow and some uh, uh, Rosanna Cash, always kept, and I think he put it under glass, uh, a check for one cent. That was the first royalty payment he got from a streaming service. He didn't even cash it. So I can't see us, I can't see us taking money away from musicians because if all of a sudden people could get it on Cobas, why would they buy the Octave Records? And if you don't buy an Octave vinyl or an Octave SACD or an Octave uh, CD, or download. If you don't buy that, then we can't share any of that revenue with the artist, which is what we do. I mean, at Octave, we pay for the recordings. There's no upfront cost to the musicians. We take care of everything. We pay them and build the greatest recordings possible, sell them to our customer, and then we give a share of that money to the artist. So, you know, I want to take care of the artists, and I don't think streaming services do that. What we're torn about is we want to grow Octave. We want the word of Octave and great recordings and great music to get out into the world, and streaming services help with that. So, yeah, it's a real quandary, but 
Anyway, I probably rambled too long about it. Rant over. <laughs> anyway, thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.